Herr Rupfrau, das Auto war aber nicht für Sie. Mein lieber Junge, ich bin schon Auto gefahren. Da konntest du Auto nicht mal schreiben. What do you think of this film? Loved it. Very Loved this film because of the story, because of the characters, because of the cinematography. I mean, it, it looked like, you know, Dutch paintings all the time. Um, I, I loved that it was you laughed and you cried. It was just all, there wasn't a false move on in lighting, direction, cinematography, or acting and music. And it, and it, I just, it was great. There's kind of a dark comedy element to it. This guy just keeps trying to just have his wine pills and just keeps getting foiled every time. And then finally, maybe he doesn't need it after all. I just think it was such a, a great statement about helping people understand that when people lose things that have meaning for them, nothing else is important. And um, the fact that they understood, they came to understand each other because they both were losing something, their independence, their the things that have meaning in their lives. Very powerful. It is. It, it's a, one of those pieces that you're able to fall in love with a little bit because there is some charm, some laughter that you can have in it with, with it. But it also strikes a very remis, like a, a chord, very deeply within everybody, right? Because most of us, God willing, will get older, and God willing, but one day we might also be in that position. And this idea that like we have to find our purpose and what happens when we're separated from it, right? And it's a very interesting, almost universal idea. I really love that movie, and uh, just because of the fact that even you you get old, your life is not ending there. There is a purpose to that, and until the day that you leave this earth, you have a purpose to fulfill, and that's what the old man did to his friend. That's what I thought. That's the takeaway for me. Yeah. Ich bin mir draußen ja nicht tot. Mach auf! Mach auf, verdammt nochmal! There is a really interesting thing here in the dude who shows up, who's who wants to see his donkey again, inadvertently saves this guy from, from committing suicide. And they he returns the favor. Maybe not in such an obvious way, but he he keeps that man from losing the thing that's making him want his life to keep going, right? Like he returns the favor because his other friend has no will to live once he realizes he's not going to be able to see that donkey. Like, that was his world, right? And just that one last time, like, the farm is, is still going to be taken down. He's still going to be in this long-term care facility. But just that one more time being able to save his donkey and take it to Belgium is what he needed. That's the closure he needed to take this next chapter in stride. To me, it really brought out uh, the disconnection uh, between people and how we look at how old people in our society, too. And the, um, I don't know if it was a, 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 um, a, a long-term care facility or, or what, but it was, it was really horrible, the, uh, the guy who was uh, with the video. And, and just that whole dis like disregard for, for life, for um, people. And, um, and I, I think it just made me really sad because there's so much of that disconnection going on more and more in our society. It is an interesting, it is, it is a really important film because we, we, so much of film is about the young and the beautiful, right? So many stories focus on the young and the beautiful and what's in the zeitgeist, but we're all people. And despite our, our demographic in life, we are all sharing this planet. Our shared experience is, we can't degrade human capital. These set of experiences just because there are stories that are, you know, facing someone in a different demographic, right? I think it's an important story to be seen because it does tell something that is necessary for us to see. So for me, I think one of the most interesting themes in that film was the contrast between <coughs> the two gentlemen. You know, the one guy had his tuxedo with, uh, you know, his bow tie and he was drinking wine out of a wine glass in a nursing home. And the other guy was kind of scruffy. He even called him simpleton. But I think, you know, in the very end, they they found that, you know, like the, the they had something in common. Just their human, the human spirit itself had something in common. And so, I, for me, that was one of the most interesting um, and profound things about the film. And there's this awesome childlike wonder that youth doesn't necessarily diminish with age. Not necessarily. 